So here I am with my Evo 2 with the Evo 7 engine swapped in. I do need to rub that down and paint that. I might do, I might do that. But um, basically what I'm going to do today is I've just had my friend at RCF weld on a bung for me because I'm going, I haven't got room to put a, um, I haven't got room to put a map on here. So um, I'm just going SD conversion. So map sensor, got a GM three bar map sensor here, three wires. And I have got the um, GM intake air temperature sensor in there. So what I need to do, here's the math plug. I'm gonna wire it all into the math plug. Now people say online wire it into ECU, but you can wire it all from here. I looked at the diagram and I'll tell you exactly what I'm gonna do to, in order to do this modification. You will need to get it mapped afterwards, otherwise it won't run. But that's basically the signal wire. There's a five volt, I think it's that one there. And then you've got your um, pin five and six, because that's the ground. They both need to be connected up to the ground. But I'll show you after I've wired it. And uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. And that one there is the other wire for the uh, GM um, intake air temp sensor, which I think is like a 512 volt or something like that, or sensor, I can't remember what it is. But anyway, but that, that one goes to there. So black and red to there, black one to black one on here. And then I've got the um, constant and the uh, signal wire from here, which I will look up on the diagram and wire it all in. And I'll send it to you in a minute, <coughs> but yeah. It's all wired up nicely. Some of these I might be able to get rid of, I just left them in there for now. Made a little bracket up there, as you can see. <laughs> yeah, this car is um, got an Evo 8 RS 5 speed on it. Yeah, Evo 9 turbo. She'll make some good power, man. I mean, it's a light car. I only want to get like 360, 380 out of it. I think that'd be plenty enough. The engine's standard Evo 7 engine. It's only got 40 odd thousand kilometers on it. It's not much. Everything's been done, so obviously I put new everything on it. It's been sat a little while because I've been waiting for an ECU, but I'm going to go with a different ECU now. But yeah, so um, I wanted it to look like it was stock when you open the bonnet. So, still got the factory front front bar in here. Um, adding the power steering oil cooler. Um, this new front bar is made up, extended out. I needed to do that and tilt the radiator back, otherwise, the um, what do you call it? The radiator would be hitting into the uh, exhaust um, manifold and turbo. So yeah, she's good. I'll get that done. Show you. Okay, so just for now, I've got. If I bring this up here, I've got both the grounds connected up to the ground wire, which is this black wire here. I've cut it. These were extended before, for the. Um, well, it wouldn't work, but because I couldn't, couldn't fit the math in, they were extended for there. But anyway, so I've got. Ground wire off this black wire connected up to this black wire here, and I've also got the ground wire from the map sensor connected up here, like that. See, okay, they're both connected into that black wire. Now, I've got the ambient air temp sensor wire, which is the red blue one on this plug. This is an Evo 4 loom, but Evo 7 engine, and Evo 2 car. <laughs> but it's uh, this pin number six, um, that's five, this is six. So that there, that red blue one is connected up to the other one here and that is uh, the sensor wire, ambient air temp sensor wire is connected up. Now all I need to do is connect up these two here. Now the red one is the uh, voltage and this blue one is a signal wire. Now I believe the signal wire is this white red one here. I'll just confirm, I'll do it and I'll show you, okay? So we'll get that done. So this here is the 5 volt, which is what the red wire needs to go to on this map sensor. And this 5 volt on here is green with a blue stripe. See that? Very faint blue. And this one here, this white with red, is the signal wire, which needs to be connected up to the blue wire on, on this map sensor. So I'm going to get that done and show you. Guys, and that's it. So this red wire here from the 3 bar map gets connected up to this green one here, green and blue green with blue stripe and this blue signal wire gets connected up to this white and red one here them three are left on there then what have you got blue red yellow and yellow white just get left on there i'm gonna sort of make a nice little sheath for these and tie it all up and put some nice loom tape around it and then melt melt mount that on there so it's out of the way and uh tuck this out of the way, tuck this out of the way somewhere. That's what I'm gonna do, I might put it over here, I'm not yet decided yet, I'm not yet decided, I might put it here next to that one or something, we'll see, we'll see. 
But yeah, get it out of the way basically. Happy days. There it is guys, nicely wrapped up. Left the math plug there. There's no point in wrapping that up, but yeah. All nicely wrapped up. I'm gonna get this mounted. Start by just plugging plugging that into there. I'll go in nicely. No, I've got this in before tonight, it's a bit of a pain in the arse this one was. And there we are. There we go, that's in. And where's it gone? That one there can just go literally like that here. I'll just um, put it in with a couple of self tappers or something, I don't know. I might just have riven up that, take the strut bra off, riv up, riven up that and mount that one there. All the sensors are over in this corner then. That bit goes on there. Right, good job guys. Thank you for watching. Like, share and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up for this video and yeah. Subscribe for some more awesome content. Check out my other builds. My builds are sick. Got some really big builds planned too. So yeah, happy days. All done. Obviously last thing, just got to get a um, vacuum pipe to there. So I'll pull that off for something that's not needed over here and put the vacuum line on it. Alright, right, and there we go. That one to the inside was for a standalone with a um, <coughs> three bar map on it or four bar map on it, but I'm not going standalone anymore because I've got messed about with it, so that's why I'm putting this on. But yeah, there we go. All on, just get that mounted. Happy days. Thank you for watching. Beast, I'm going to get that strut bar painted now.